Greetings, let us talk about Dashboard. The DevExpress Dashboard tool allows you to create an immensity of combinations of data presentation. We are going to make a series of videos starting with how to connect to the data, how to do quick actions. Today we are going to know each of your objects. Today we are going to start with the first video. Showing basically what is the environment of this tool. I also want to tell you that there is a web version. We will also look at the web designer so that you have an idea of how navigate in both tool. Well, the first thing that you are going to find in this tool is basically all the controls that has to display data. We also have the interface in Spanish but in a previous video I will show you how to present it in English. You will be able to see them here in the home page tab. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you after watching is that this tool has a home page and that here it has all these controls. The following tab is the data source. What is the data source? Well, it is the source from where you are going to get the information that you are going to present in the dashboard, and here are several options to deal with the data source. The last visible tab when you don't have a dashboard created is the view. Here you can change the appearance of presentation, for example, there are people who likes the dark mode right? They like to see the tool in one way where they can focus on the information and not on the screen. Many people also say that dark mode it is good to work at night, so that the brightness does not hurt. Well, that is a matter of each person, so we are going to stay with the normal mode. And here you could change a lot of choices, colors, presentations, right? Okay. So today, after this part, we are going to talk about the data source. Without data source, without information. We don't have a dashboard, so this is the first part we need to work on that we do not have a dashboard. I'm going to show you here how to connect to different data sources. The first thing I am going to show you is how we connect and then in the next video we will go through different data sources, SQL Server Database, PostgreSQL, MySQL. Then we will also see how to connect to an Excel, an XML file, a JSON file and an immensity of data sources. Now basically I am going to show you how this works. And the first thing that tells us to put a name to the data source. And you could put here, for example, employees or the data source that you are going to connect so that when it appears on the screen you know where they come from. So another interesting thing about this is the immensity of data sources that we will treat each of them little by little, but we are going to start with a database so that you can see the diversity, and then we return so that you can see each one of the following. So if I click next, here it asks me if I want to use a local connection or I would like to make one myself, in this case I want to make one. 
Look here at the huge amount of databases starting from SQL Server and going through Access and Oracle, in Google BigQuery, MySQL, IBM DB2, SAP, SQLite. SQLite, XML files, and what we call a custom connection string that would be a connection to a very very particular and very specific database. Notice that here to connect to a database, basically you would have to have where that database is located or the IP, or the name, or the address and what authentication model you are going to use, if you are going to use a user authentication or if you are going to use Windows authentication. Well, then I am going to do a test here. We are going to connect to the local server, I am going to put in user. And here I am going to, notice that since I already put in user. Then automatically it connects to the database engine and appears all the databases I have available here. Okay, so I'm going to select a database, this one, the NBA. And it says if I want to save the password, that is debated topic. What does this mean? That in the design, we are even going to see how these files are generated, which are some XML files that have the design of dashboard, because the password is saved, there is a security issue that is not good, but it depends of the use that you are going to give it, because, for example, it could be that you want these dashboards to be standalone, that is, that themselves could be opened in a viewer and they do not have to request a password or username, etc. It is a part that should be discussed and here after it does this, so we build our connection string or make a query. Notice that DevExpress has a query builder tool that we are going to spend some time on. But today basically what we are going to do is select something so that you can finally see which is the result of this. Notice that from that connection I made to the NBA database, all the tables that the database has appear. If I had views here, tables, everything that is inside it, well I have it here, I can also tell it to allow me to make an SQL. That is, I write the commands. So the data comes the way I write it or simply if I drag the team here, for example, now and I tell it this team, well I want to drag the players. Notice that if there are relationships they are already connected. I can select some fields here, some fields there. And basically, I can do a preview of the data, how are they looking, right? And here in this preview I can also filter, do a series of things that little by little we will see in the videos. And basically after we have already selected our database with our theme. We press accept and we press finished here. Notice that here I already have the information. I can now start making a dashboard, that is why we would do immediately, but of course, we must go step by step, but if I suddenly set foot here and say oh, I want the teams here. And, sorry, I want the team name in the argument, for example, and suddenly I want the same team name here, to make a count and basically I already have here a count of how many times that team appears in the data that I have. Until the next video.